somatic hybridization. Sexual hybridization has been the conventional method to improve the characteristics of cultivated plants for years. The major limitation of sexual hybridization is that it can be performed within a plant species or very closely related species. The chance of improvisation in the plants is very less. Therefore, species barrier can be overcome by somatic cell fusion that can form viable hybrids which is otherwise not possible through sexual hybridization. Somatic hybridization involves in vitro fusion of isolated protoplasts to form a hybrid cell and its development into a hybrid plant. Recently, somatic hybridization technique was carried out using tomato and potato. The protoplast of tomato was fused with the protoplast of potato to form a new hybrid plant called pomato. This new hybrid had the characteristics of both potato and tomato. However, the plant did not have all the desired characteristics for its commercial utilization. Applications of Somatic Hybridization Somatic hybridization has opened new possibilities for the in vitro genetic manipulation of plants to improve the crops. Some of the practical applications of somatic hybridization are mentioned as below. 1. Disease resistance Somatic hybridization has helped in the successful transfer of some disease resistance genes from one species to another. For example, resistance has been introduced in tomato against diseases such as TMV, spotted wilt virus and insect pests. Environmental tolerance Some environmental factors like cold, frost and salt also pose a challenge for crops. The genes responsible for the tolerance of such factors have been successfully introduced through somatic hybridization. For example, introduction of cold tolerance gene in tomato. Quality characters Somatic hybrids for the production of high nicotine content and low uricic acid have also been developed. Limitations of somatic hybridization Although somatic hybridization is a novel approach in plant biotechnology, still there are several problems and limitations where the method is non-rewarding. The success of the technique largely depends on overcoming these limitations, some of which are listed below. Fertile and visible seeds are not always produced by plants through somatic hybridization. The production of viable somatic hybrids is not possible in all instances, even though protoplast fusion between different species or genus is easy.